Hello, everyone, and welcome back to NetHack the Planet on 6th Street Radio. I'm your host, Dave Clintos on NAO. You're watching part five, four, one of those. I'm losing track of the numbers. This takes a while of the Valkyrie Ascension. Uh, we are on turn 16,483. We're at Mine's End. Now, Mine's End is, is important because it gives you a number of valuable gems, but really the most important part is the Lux Stone that is guaranteed. So as you can see in this version of Mine's End, this is the Gnomish Wine Cellar, I believe. Um, you have to take the pickaxe and dig over into this blank area. And this 2x2 uh, two two square is where all the gems are. So let's go through here. That's a red gem, white gem, and a gem called zero. They're all valuable. The ones that are soft I just call zero because I don't like identifying them. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, I think I'm fighting a gnome. And taking some gems there. There's a black, green, and a red. Still no loads or um, luck stone. What was that? A stone called flint. Looks like I attempted to identify that. Now I think there are flint stones in here. I'd have to check the wiki. So that might actually be a flint and not a luck. So I usually. No. Well, that's the only gray stone, so that's probably a luck stone. Let's see if I identify it as such. What do you want to call? And I will probably call... Flint. Alright, I will call Flint. Flint, luck. I think it's guaranteed to be the luck. I, I might have just been conservative here. So, there's that. That's the point of going through the the gnomish mines, other than gaining experience and equipment, is to get that luck stone. Because luck is very important in this game. Alright, let's start playing. Yeah, 2.3 is fine. And continue. I said continue. Why does it keep doing that? Thirty forty five normal speed. This is the second time it's done this to me. Just go. Come on, VLC. Man, we're only three minutes into the video and I'm already locked up. What am I? Okay, let's try this. 3024. Alright, sorry about that. I gotta figure out why it keeps doing that on me. So we're gonna have to walk, watch the mines end for a second. Yeah, I already did this. I already did that. A nymph stole all my stuff. I gotta get it back. I encountered an incubus somewhere around here that we had fun with. I think that's why I was walking around blind here. It's because I wanted to keep track of where the nymph was. Because I needed to get my stuff back. There's a troll, get rid of him. And dig for glory. There we go. This is where we were. Alright, now let's continue on. We're gonna fight our way back up. I think that was a, a werewolf or a weir rat. I usually ad avoid those as much as possible. Because if they bite you, they turn you into a weir creature, and that is annoying. Uh, 
All right, at this point, we've completed Sokoban and Mine's End, so we are fully into the beginning of the game. Now we just fight and gain strength and equipment. Stashing when needed, blessing when needed, identifying scrolls, figuring out which ones are enchant armor, enchant weapon, increasing your numbers. Looks like I'm finishing emptying out Sokoban, making sure I have everything. Same thing with the Gnomish Mines. Here's my main stash at the Gnomish Mines. Which is where the main stash is, is for the beginning of the game. Once you get into the middle and end games, it's very annoying to have to go back into the mines each time. So it usually moves out of there. But in the beginning, that's where it starts. Alright, down to dungeon level 10. Continuing on exploration. Trying not to die. I'm not sure if I have a magic whistle at this time. If I don't, I usually abandon my pet because it's so annoying to keep the pet with you. If you have a magic whistle, you just find the stair, you whistle him over, and that's easy. Oh. What was that, an ant hill? I think those are ants. Yeah, soldier ants. Find a huge thing. Now, I think at this point I have stealth, so I'm, I'm going through this ant hill without waking them all up, which is really the only way I can do it. Otherwise, if you didn't have stealth, you'd wake them all up and you'd get surrounded. Ooh, is that a, uh, I think that was a mind flare. Is that a mind flare? Seems a little early in, yeah, it is. So, yeah, here I encounter a mind flare. Um, yeah, it turned 20,000 something. It's a little bit early. I'm surprised that I handled this well. Here you see the Mind Flare concentrates. A wave of psychic energy pours onto you. Um, these guys are really annoying. And I can't, I can't genocide them even if I could at this point because I am a dwarf. And if you genocide these lowercase h's, you kill yourself. And that ends your game rather fast. So let's see how I deal with them. There's telepathy. Oh, it looks like I escaped. And now I'm right next. He's right next to me. Why did I do that? All right, I must have I elbereathed to get him to run away. I'm fighting him on the upstair, throwing daggers at him. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good way. Because if you keep him out of melee range, he's not going to attack you with the brain suck attack. And that kills you by lowering your intelligence, which I'm pretty stupid to begin with, with intelligence of 9. So that wouldn't take very long to kill me. And it also gives you amnesia, so everything that you've identified goes away. So everything becomes unidentified again, and it's really annoying. It's a game-ender in some cases. So I'm standing on Elbereth, and kill the Mind Flayer. Well, I, I did, looks like I did melee him right in the end because I knew that I could kill him in a couple hits. So, the Mind Flayers are a little bit easier than the Master Mind Flayers. So, looks like I took care of him. Are you going to play? There we go. Let's watch a little bit more of this and then we'll end this stage of the video. Traveling around, stashing, more identification. See, that's the only general store in the whole game, so I keep having to go back to Mine Town. Well, all right, let's stop it there.
Uh, you're watching NetHack the Planet on 6th Street Radio. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>